I mana. I have... Well, Mario's back there. I don't know if you can see him. Me? Oh. There he is. Behind me now. That's Maru, and we're back with more Baldur's Gate 3. Sir, that is my food. Just because I'm not eating it right now doesn't mean it's for you. Fuck off. Alright, so when we last left off, we defeated Auntie Ethel. And... Hello, Scratch. Hi, Scratch. You're so cute. I love you so much. Shut up, phone. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um... I had wondered if maybe I added uh, Connor to um, to my party if I could have taken him to Withers and Withers could have fixed him, but I don't I don't think that's the case. So um, shit, what do we got for Ooh, Ooh time to treat Gail again? Okay. All right. Um. I need. I want to work on this. On find the night song and explore the ruins. I want to go back to the ruins and see if maybe if I have somebody else look at shit, they'll see shit. Lady of sorrows, guide us. Did you want something? Fine. Anything What's new? What do you think about what happened in the Druid I Grove? I suppose some would commend our actions. Goblins would have raised that whole place to nothing if it weren't for us. No excuse to rest on our laurels, though. We've still got our own problems to contend with. Cool. How am I holding up? Does it even need to be asked? We're beyond me merely liking you. I think I'm a different person. Owing to you. Turn to other matters. Believe. If not over, then through. I should speak up. I hear you did the deed. How was your little romp? I didn't know this. Um. I didn't know we were discussing this. Spoil sport. Well, what do you want if you're not here to gossip? Okay. Didn't didn't know that was public knowledge. Um, would rather it not be. <laughs> Curious. I took of you completely. Yet your body seems no more worse for wear. Yeah. Perhaps I might find use for it again. Cool. Uh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. You're not going to have anything new to say. I don't know why I clicked on you. You wish to speak? No, not really. Oh, you're still feeling well, right? With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better. Stimulating. Yes. Quiet. Hey! Oh, hi, Ame. That's still my food. I know I'm not eating it right now, but it's still mine. Okay. Mmm, scratch. He makes me so happy. Okay. Oh, let me go feed Gail. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. I tried to give you one earlier, you told me no. Fuck off. Fucking hell. Okay, so I have to Perhaps I'm not conveying the urgency hey, of the situation. Hey, 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 hey. It's incredibly World-shatteringly important you Eight. give me a suitable artifact. Please. Settle. Both of you. Very well. Get that you're both hungry men. Get out of here. Actually, it might. 
But I shall try all the same. So my plan was to uh, keep stuff in a bag for him, but I can't open the bag apparently to give him the things. I have to open it before I speak to him. Fuck off! It's my okay. food! I'm listening. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? There you go. That's it. That's all I got. Thank you. Probably shouldn't have done that, because that was a gift for rescuing the little girl, but, um, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. If we come to it. Good gods. It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mr. have mercy on us all. Well, that's Listen, not good. I need good. to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Go on here, among friends. I'll just be about to remedy that. <laughs> you have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. You don't say. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Uh -huh. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries, the Goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse, and later even my lover. Uh-oh. Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Bull. If you would dare to re reduce a goddess to their muse. I don't believe a word of what you're saying. Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. Asterian! Body. There's gossip My here. Dancer. Get over here. You want to get? So, I desire come here. More. Asterion, get over so, here. No matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. How exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? You thought you knew better than Mistra? You're more of a fool than I thought. I applaud your ambition. How exactly did you try to do this? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, and yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. Dumbass. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Nah, details, man. Give me all the... Tell me everything. Give me all the details. Let's go. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. Okay. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. Worked out great for you, didn't it? He almost managed, but not quite. His entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured, then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought, until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book Netherese tone in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. Ow. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? 
What was the answer to that question? I guess you ruled out followers and, oh, sorry, flowers and chocolates all together then. So your grand plan was akin to emptying a cup of water in the sea? Brilliant. What was the answer to that question? The answer was to try. The outcome was to fail. I was certain that this deed of raw power draped in romance would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. You didn't have to kneel you. down for that, but okay. I could have reached it while you were standing. I am not that sure. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in. Into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods is it ever hungry. I get the feeling. That it was left out for a reason. Gail. How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have absorbed it. Just saying. Although you probably this couldn't never have avoided the it. Light. This orb for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Would you like more? You will die. Rather worse, actually. Ah! I will erupt. Ah! I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry. Probably a isn't good. city the size of Waterdeep. Yeah, that is so good. Is there nothing we can do? Unbelievable. Did you ever think what would happen if the tadpole got the better of you? By rights, I should kill you. Nah. What? The tadpole? Every waking moment. Every dreaming moment, too. But there was no way out. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. Nah, yeah, I want to know more about your story. We've come this far together, and we'll continue together. That's how it'll be. If we were to part ways, where would you go? You pose too grave a threat. This is... Okay, well, um... Where would you go? Once I'd step out of the protective aura of the artifact. It wouldn't be long before the Absolute overtakes me. I'd never let that happen, so I'd aim for a swift end. I would consume some midnight tears and venture as deep into the Underdark as I possibly could. Till they cloud my eyes forever. And with a bit of luck, I'd manage to make it to a Mind Flare colony so that when the orb erupts, one loud last song of vengeance would reverberate through the dark. Wouldn't be a heroic end, but coarsely poetic enough in its justice. Hmm. Interesting. We're staying together. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. Shut up, though. I stand at a precipice. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, 
Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. <laughs> Let us venture forth. That was a lot, dude. That was a lot. Sketch. Oh wait, can I talk to Volo about his book? Where? Well, that was very extra of you, Brielle. <laughs> Can we talk about your book? Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank nope. No, I cannot. Okay, I'll just sell that, I guess. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I <laughs> love you so much. Hi, Maru. It's a good place for you. Hi, Ame. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Best boy. Okay. All right. End of the day. Scratch, what were you just doing up there? I don't think you guys could see it because my camera was in the way, but he was just up on the rocks behind Asterion. Um, out of curiosity. Because it is nighttime. May the darkness protect you. Fine. What's on your mind? Never mind. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna get to go around with you. That's fine, I guess. Maybe it only comes up at certain. Oh. What are you doing, Scratch? Well, hello. Oh, hello. No, never mind. Well met. Yeah, and you're not gonna let me now yeah, give you anything right now. Go ahead. I'm listening. I was wondering about that mighty lord you told me about in the story. If you ever feel the Netherese magic overtaking you, what will you do? Ah, oh, yes. Well, that's Cassus. Tarsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel, and with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost, and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. Hmm. An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. Carsus's. So at that moment in time, all magic was gone. Nothing good ever comes from mortals wanting to be gods. You have to admire the man's ambition. He very nearly succeeded. So in that moment, all, moment, all magic was gone? For a spell. Mistral <laughs> was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. 
That was not the best way of doing it, huh? Trying to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. If you ever feel the Netherese magic overtaking you, what will you do? If it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. Appreciate it. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. Cool. Good conversation. I don't know what I'm... You wish to speak? I hope I didn't come on too strong. There are few things that are too strong for me. And cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it. Fair. In other circumstances, I would have done the same. I'm glad I didn't leave Well, you'd have done the same. Perhaps. But best to not dwell <clears throat> on nights past. There are plenty more yet to come. But I'm his. I feel like I've talked about both of those already. He's your good boy. He's your good boy. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I just, I just want to love you. Did you go to pets? Come here. I love you. You look like my my dog Winston that I had when I was a kid, and I miss him so much. He was good boy. He was smart boy. He was bigger though. Um, his his big dog. Speak. Eh. Okay, well, let's go ahead and end the night. I like that it's using 43 and not just 40. That's fine. You don't rest well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you break your meditation because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. <laughs> Shit. Hi, honey. You care to oh, explain? No. It's not what it looks like. I swear. It is exactly what it looks like, honey. I, I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed, well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. Yeah, I noticed that earlier. No, we're not gonna... How long How long since you last killed someone? Days? Hours? I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals. Bulls. Deer. Kobolds. Whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. You're not drinking scratch. Out of the question. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. 
Why didn't you tell me? I don't care how much you need, you're not drinking my blood. With the wisdom pushed to his mind, searching for the truth. I feel like that's... Why didn't you tell me? At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. You were mm. more likely to get a stake through I the ribs. I needed you to trust me. By trying to uh, sneak up on me. Trust me. I don't sleep, I meditate. <laughs> I do believe you. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? I only need a taste. I swear. Ooh, is it gonna get kinky up in here? Fine, but I'll drop more than what you need. Alright, but go too far and I'll drive a stake through your chest. Are you mad? No. Uh, let's get kinky. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Ah, oh, he's about to kill me, isn't he? <laughs> I'm about to... Fuck, I should have saved. <laughs> it's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. Let's... Oh, well, you're not going to be too hard to persuade. See? Right, I gotta click continue. Sorry, I was distracted. Oh, of course. That... That was... Amazing. You're welcome. My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel... Happy. Looking forward to seeing you fight. I don't. That felt wrong. His guard's down. Grab the stake. No. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you fight. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest. Stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. If you get a boar, bring the rest back for camp supplies. That's all I ask. Just a nibble. <laughs> Let us stare and bite you. Ouch. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh. Bloodless. Feels a bit woozy. Feeling chatty this morning? Good morning. How do you feel? I'm fine. I just feel a little woozy. It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. Explain. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Is that how you can stand in the sun because you're not a true vampire? Any of the drawbacks I should know about? Pity. Thought you'd be more powerful. Teacher, I have questions. Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, Wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. Oh. Oh. What's causing this? The Mind Flayer's parasite? If I can help, just ask. We're in this together. Figure them out quickly. I don't want any more surprises. What's causing this? Button. That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. 
Although there's still time. <laughs> As everyone walks up. A vampire among us. So be it. But should I wake with so much as a drop of blood on my neck, I will end him. I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. Enough. We need him, like it or not. I trust him. He won't hurt us. Quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. I just better not wake with any holes in my neck. You'll be fine. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Well, oh, now I gotta figure out what everyone else has to say about, you know, vampire. Shah's blessings upon you. Okay, you don't want to talk about it. Normally, people have something to say. Speak. Okay. Okay, guess we're not talking about it. Okay, we're Scratch. I need to say goodbye to Scratch before we go. Scratch. Gotta say bye. Where are you going? Scratch is right there. All oh, right. I gotta turn it back on. I keep forgetting it's not a permanent thing. <laughs> He's a good boy. Thirty minutes in, and I've gave him pets three times now. Good job, me. Okay, let's head out. Why? Why? Why am I not dressed? Get dressed, bitch. There you go. Okay. Oh yeah, I want to sell Vola's book real quick. It'll take a while for us all to recover. I keep well, forgetting that I could just, first. you know, click the trade button versus talking to him. You can have that. Okay. May you keep balance. Thanks. Trying. Uh, let's go. Let's go here first. Okay, so Boyle came in while I was trying to figure that out. <laughs> Um, apparently all I needed to do was talk to wizards about the sarcophagus. Fate spins along as it should. I guess if I would have talked to him at any point, I probably would have figured it out. a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? I found a plaque in the chapel about guardian of tombs. Is that you? Not to be rude, but what are you? Yeah, see, if I had just talked to him, I would have figured it out, but I that have just been talking to him. Housed, yes. And thou needst not know why. I mean, that's fine. Okay. Ta-da! Apparently we're done. Ta-da! Alright, well, now just to find the night song. And that's the goblin camp, right? What's up here? 
Nothing. You guys coming? Come on. Okay, so. I'm still... Ah! That is what you reacted to ages ago. Lockpick? I can crack that open. Okay, I didn't realize this was something I could lockpick. Fuck you! Roll again. Try again. We got this. Come on. Much better. Thank you! Well, I was right about that being the door. I thought that's what she had perceived because I couldn't figure out what she perceived. Um, if I proceed forward, um, what, um, okay, bye. What happens? Logbook of sendings? Ah, that's a lot of reading. Hey. Find the night sog. Enter the secret passage. We solved a puzzle. Oh, we did not. <laughs> we did not solve that puzzle. <laughs> we unlocked a secret door in the old temple of Saluna. Leads to the Underdark. Okay, progressing forward down here isn't going to trigger Act 2, is it? Because I'm not ready for that. Whoop. Oh. Yeah, don't let go. Definitely don't do that. Careful, Lazel. It's dark around here. Would be a terrible shame to lose you forever. Yes. Do you keep your wits, Shadowheart. Should a dagger suddenly slice your neck, we may never know who's to blame. <sighs> okay, children. Behave. The trail goes cold in the Underdark. Where is the night song? Don't hit it. Oh. Didn't see that part. I clicked roll. Add bonus. Thank you. Just in case I don't get a nat 20. Perfect. Let me just light everything on fire. I don't know why I do the things that I do. Something good here, I hope. Not for much longer. Oh. 
<laughs> Beautiful. Almost double what I needed to succeed. What you got for me? Helmet of smiting. Mara's trying to open the door. Well, I will take it. And let's see. Does anybody... This thing. I'm not profession proficient. Flackets will be done. Bolstering smite. When you apply a condition with one of your smite spells, you gain temporary hit points equal to the charisma modifier. Okay, I think that's gonna be better than. Oh my god. <laughs> I regret nothing. I do regret Maru opening the door, though. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Just another crate. Cool. Anything else in here? No. Okay. How much farther can I go? Pretty far, actually. We we did just do a long rest, so. Just another crate. Lame. Let's see what this does. It's blue, though. Every moment a new danger. I may have underestimated this Faerun. Maybe a little bit. You don't know the heart. With a bit of okay, guys. We'll meet a beholder. A beholder? Explain, what is a beholder? Why do I want to light all of these? Why, why, why is that my go-to? Why am I a crackhead? <gasps> hey, I discovered a waypoint. Cool. Hey, look, health potion. Um, let me just ransack this entire room. Why? Why do I feel the need to light everything on fire? It doesn't help. I mean, it makes things brighter, but it doesn't help. Ugh, I don't want a rotten carrot. Thank you, though. Nah, I'm good on regs. Why? Why am I like this? Okay, let's go over. Oh, book, 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 book. Book, book, take the book. Faded logbook. Most of the small logbook is left empty. The last entry reads, Log 182. I was wrong. Should have paid more attention to the drow sightings. Should have known they were only a prelude. Stupid to think we had outsmarted them. This will be my last entry. Minth will keep the records from now on. Minth. It's a hole in the wall. Not a chance I'll fit in there. I don't I I have no explanation for what the hell? Well, it made noise. I just noticed the shimmering lights. Look. Okay. Uh, what's happening here? Can I... Can I look at... Ooh, what are you doing? Okay, you... Uh, something's happening. Alright, I'm just gonna well continue... Not as bad as it could have. ...poking around. Yeah. Holy shit! 
Um. We are not welcome here. This much is clear. Uh, we're not. Uh. <laughs> um. Okay. I guess that just happened. That's a thing. Okay. So, um. About that, um, I, you, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna touch shit. Shoes. Mm, I don't think that I need more shoes. Leather boots, though. Great sword. Yeah, I don't think I need that. I mean, I can sell it. Yep, I'm good. I don't need rotten things. Rags. Clothes. Looks empty. Port. Port Coolis? I think I should talk to Halson before I. Um. You know, poke too much down here. Um, weapons I can sell. I don't know if I ever need the rope. Taking weapons to sell them. Oh, there's a ladder here. Cool, let's... Giant glowing mushrooms. Okay. Looks empty. Does the skeleton? He has a key! A salunite key. Okay, um, let's go talk to Halston, I guess. Um, trail goes dark, okay. Uh, the under dark is a twisted labyrinth of tunnels and ruins. To find the path to Moonrise Towers, you'll need to explore. Uh huh. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go talk to Helson, because I am scared to progress. Oh, this is new. Helson, there you are. Hmm. You wish to speak? Precious little, but I'm quite certain it can still be found. Fuck. Okay. Cool. I'm good. Uh, body art, though. Just face. We can't do, like, arms, bet. Okay.
didn't expect as first time I've seen a mirror in camp, so I was very confused. Um, um, I just kind of want to poke around in here and check this out, because what the fuck nuggets? Ice crash, honey. I'm processing this Alice in Wonderland camp shit. Okay, um, this did not go as I had anticipated, so let's just go back, I guess. Okay, so, um, here's the earth. Uh, excuse me. So, um, I think I need to disable these. With a flick of the wrist? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay. But is this a good idea? I mean, I probably am a dumbass, but I'm a dumbass who saves first. <gasps> uh, click. Nothing. Okay. How about you? I don't want your bones. I'm scared. Okay, 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 okay. Run, 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 run. Everybody run. And turn. Action, not reaction. Get back inside. Efficient path. And turn. I wonder what the next move is. As sharp as ever. Okay. Exit. <laughs> like I said, I'm a dumbass who saves at least. Okay. Um, so, can we talk about this? What? Keeping pace. Oh, why did you. Why am I on will? Come here. Okay. Let's. I can. I'll give it a shot. Light things on fire again. Um, I don't want to take the wheelbarrow. What's this? Mind my step. Can I? Ex is 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 in information? I require information here. Oh, something. Nope. Let me stand back. Well, that didn't do what I had anticipated it doing. Acolyte shattered the moon. Shadowheart is inspired.
Okay. The Underdark is a twisted labyrinth. Okay, so... Okay, well, I destroyed that. I'm going to call it here. And I'm going to do some Google searches research to make sure that I'm not missing anything in Act 1 before I press on to Act 2, because I don't want to miss anything. I think I'm done with Act 1. I'm not sure. I'm also underground, so I can't see anything of the map. Um, but yeah, uh, when we come back, we're either going to finish whatever needs to be finished in Act 1, or we're going to press on to Act 2, finally. So, yay. Um, I'm so mad that it took me so long to find what it was Brielle had noticed in, like, the beginning. Like, oh, that's, that's interesting. Wonder what that does. And it's like, what the fuck are you even looking at? Like, I could not find it. I go to fuck with the candles, look over, and there it is. Just staring at me. I'm like, motherfucker, how did I miss this so many times? I'm, my perception's great, clearly. Alright, well. I will see you guys later, and remember to do something nice for a stranger today. You just might save a life. Bye.